So guys, in this video, I'd like to show you how to obtain uh, the Raven Fonsor in From Mission 2. So the steps themselves are fairly straightforward. The trouble that I usually have is actually remembering uh, to uh, do it because uh, right, this is relatively at the beginning of the game. Uh, this is right after Mission 4, Mission 5, I don't remember which, but in terms of the story, this is right after we've been introduced to Lisa and Sayuri and uh, they've, they've undertaken the operation. Uh, to rescue the transport uh, from uh, that that took off from Grimian uh, base, and uh, we've landed here at the OCU Prisoner of War Rescue Operations HQ. So after that, uh, they decided to head to Dokande separately from the operations from these prisoner rescue operations because uh, Lisa and Sayuri obviously have a different agenda. So once we hit uh, Dokande. Now this is where we're supposed to pick up Cordy, but uh, uh, so you have to visit the bar anyway, but once you try and exit from the bar, this guy stops it. And he seems to know Lisa. And he wants to tell us something, but unfortunately not right now, because of course. Enter Huffman into the OCU address. We need to do a lot more than that, so this is where uh, the steps come in. So right at this point, what you want to do in OCUF, type in Huffman. And get some details. Uh, this site contains information about the Huffman crisis from, from Mission 1. So this is general information. Form was closed in 2095. Central Council shut it down because it not, did not accurately describe the Hoffman conflict. Okay. Okay, some gibberish. And it asked you to enter a check code over here. So for some reason, we need to enter Madeira. from Madeira Island and all it says is you can read additional documents by inputting Sakata into the OCU army address that's all it says but we need to do this step so we want to go back to OCU F and input Sakata this time SI case Sakata industry So apparently that has been hidden up until now, is it? So in in this forum we have to enter another check code and for again uh, unknown reasons. If somebody knows why what what significance these passwords have, let me know. O C I L I P Y. I have no idea why this exact password but this is where the details of the raven are stored so there's information from the from the second Huffman conflict itself about a secret Fonzor and surprisingly Lisa gets an email 
Come to the bar in Dhaka on the 24th of June, I'll be waiting there for you. Yeah, so currently the date is like 12th June or 14th June perhaps, yeah, the in-game date. And uh, we have to wait all the way until 24th of June. This, this, the story of this game is so fast moving that by the time 24th, uh, uh, 24th is there, uh, we are we are at mission 20 or 20. I think, yeah, at the end of mission 24, that's when uh, that that's how fast paced this is. So have to wait all the way up to there. And uh, more than on one occasion, I've completely forgotten about this by the time uh, we actually get to that point. And that's pretty much the only point. So you have to go visit the bar on the 24th of June. Still keeping in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, so like I said, just got to wait all the way until uh, to the 24th of June, which is uh, post mission 24. So after mission 24, in terms of the story, it's right after we have retaken uh, Dion Air Force Base. So uh, that, that was a three part mission where you uh, land the plane, blow up the plane, clear out the areas in the base itself and then attack the airfield where Guyanda when basically turns on Guyanda. So after that uh, I think there's been a temporary ceasefire or something and uh, I guess it, it, everybody's pretending that that's the end of the game. So here in the chief's office let's just get through some dialogue. Blah blah blah, everybody's reminiscing about everything that has just happened. All the different groups are like, what do we do now? Well, we just go on with life, eh? <laughs> Emia, not, whenever she doesn't have anything better to do, she's working on her phone, so... Apparently tomorrow we're supposed to leave this damn country. Or at least Ash is a group. But Ash wants to stay. So here we are, 24th June, but we're still at Dion. So what we want to do is head back to Dhaka. I mean, we have to do this anyway. And before doing anything, enter the bar. Don't think he's here, okay? At least these guys remembered. So he's not at the bar, but someone else is. Who is he? I'll also come here by an acquaintance of yours who is supposed to meet you here. Mm, very suspicious though. Please follow me if you want to see him. If he's not here in person, then you and I have nothing to talk about. Smart girl, Lisa. Okay, he left to go for now. But here, here's this guy. He was just outside the bar. So I guess the, that other guy is the enemy. Come this way. And when he says come this way, it's the Colosseum. Arena is close to maintenance. So now he can show us uh, what he wanted to show. Here we go. I would like to say the Magnificent Raven, but it's actually not as special as I thought it was initially. Oh, he was part of the team that built this. He was taken to the UCS and they wanted him to build more of it. Try to contact someone from the OCU. I don't know why his loyalty is live with the OCU, but I guess we'll take it at face value. Oh, I guess he was enslaved in the UCS. But what's the use of enslaving someone and asking him to build stuff? Hmm, who was he? Someone said he'll give him freedom in exchange for the raven. Specifically if he gave the raven to Lisa. Kwangju is the key, Lisa. So that is uh, Commander Kwangju? Uh-oh. Okay, it was from the intelligence division. Only one person has ever managed to pilot the Raven on the first try. Uh, anyway, we have to fight that guy. Uh, just use the R call. Should be fine. 
That guy does have pretty high level weapons. He's got the Soul Buster, but uh, yeah, the Raven. Raven should be able to do plenty of damage on its own. The Arc Claw is tied for the most powerful uh, melee in the game. Only problem here is we're not going to get excellent accuracy. Neither is he, but it's uh, just a matter of luck. Just got to hope he doesn't hit the body too often. Yeah, look at how much HP the Raven has. I guess the biggest issue here is if you haven't trained Lisa as a melee, and why would you? She's gonna struggle a bit here. Yeah, her, look at that level. She's at level 1, that guy's at level 23. Should be enough. The Raven stats should be enough to compensate for that. But uh, because of the way the game mechanics work, the higher the level difference, the higher the accuracy. Or in this case, because we are at such a low level, accuracy is severely impacted, but I guess it's fine. Alright, both he and Grikov are dead. Well, we keep the Fonzor, of course. What do you mean, what do, what do we do with this Fonzor? And apparently the arena is in instantly open for business. Good job, guys. You were, you, these guys are just watching us, weren't they? Anyway, let's check out the Raven. I'm going to compare that with the Ayana. So if you have uh, watched my other video about the bonus sponsors, uh, you already have uh, the uh, most offensive punches in the game. That is the Ayana Arms, Neko and uh, Kairu. So in terms of the body, compared to the Ayana, Raven just has less RC, but I don't understand what the hell RC is in the first place. So in terms of defense, it's uh, it's tied with the Ayana, and the Ayana's defense is not that great in terms of end game stats. Good engine output, uh, good HP, a moderate defense. So that's the body. Legs don't really matter. Yeah, but once again, it 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 has the same stats as the Ayana. I wonder what significance this is. Left arm. Raven has more HP. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Current left arm is Walrus. Never mind that. Uh, I should compare that with the Ayana. Yeah, again, same stats as Ayana. Less RC, whatever the hell that means. The critical part here is. Ayana, the inbuilt arm, has attack of 236. Uh, the Raven, right arm doesn't have an inbuilt weapon. The left arm does, and check that out. Attack of 236, so that's a Raven Claw. Now, the biggest difference between uh, the Raven and the Ayana is the fact that you cannot equip a shield. So if I equip the Raven arm, you, you see the shield gets uh, removed. It's got, it's got some uh, fairy wings kind of thing that looks like a shield, but it's not. So right shoulder, yeah, weapons cannot be equipped. Can't even be equipped on the shoulder. And even though the right hand is just a hard blow. Wait, what? Oh, we can equip, equip melee. I thought we could equip even a melee weapon, but I guess I'm wrong. We can equip at least a melee weapon on the right arm. Can't equip it on the left arm. Uh, because it's got the inbuilt weapon, of course. So that that makes sense. And uh, right arm, yeah. Innate attack. The hard blow has an innate attack of 127, which is tied with the shackle B. So it's nothing great. It's got the same stats as the Ayana. So I guess it's just it's just an Ayana copy. Uh, you, you you could always use another one, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, that's the Raven. So if you uh, followed, if you followed the, if you followed my bonus Fonzworks video and uh, now this one, how to obtain the Raven, you'll have a total of three extremely, extremely powerful uh, melee builds. So I think that's all I wanted to say. Hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching.